Step 4. Placing a Skylight Object Select the appropriate view in the navigator and activate the Skylight tool in the toolbox. Open its Settings dialog box and select the Skylight Top Hung 11 object. You don't need to deal with the customizing of the parameters. Just select the bottom left corner as the anchor point. Click OK to leave the dialog box. Select the rotated geometry method in the info box. Place a skylight on the floor plan as shown in the illustration. Select the newly created element and click on the bottom left corner. By using the stretch command, resize the width of the object as shown. Now you need to modify the vertical position and the height of the skylight object to place it exactly between the two slanted beams of the roof. These operations can be executed in the 3D window. Open the 3D window by switching on the 7.4.2 point modifying the skylight preset view. Next, activate the document layers layers settings command. In the appearing dialog box, select the shell roof layer and click the wireframe icon and return to the 3D window. Select the skylight object. Change the lower and the upper edge type to vertical in the Skylight Settings tab page of the Tool Settings dialog box. Activate the Move Node command in the Pet Palette. Adjust the corner of the skylight to the edge of the lower beam element as shown. Keep the shift button pressed during the operation and modify the size of the object to assign it to the edge of the upper beam. Let's continue the design of the project by creating some copies of the previous skylight. This will provide some lighting of the conference room. Select the skylight and activate the multiply command. Set the number of copies to one and choose the increment option. Also, make sure that the vertical displacement feature is on. Drag the element as shown. Reselect the skylights and create a new copy as shown. Finally, open the Layer Settings dialog and set the Shell Roof Layer to Solid Model.